What's up, guys? Welcome back to Rip City Rundown. We've got a stacked agenda to talk about today. The draft is just in five days. I'm recording this as of June 17th. The draft is June 22nd. We're inching closer and closer to the biggest night of the Blazers offseason, and there's more and more to talk about. We're going to talk about second overall pick, third overall pick, where those two picks are trending, what's probably going to happen. We'll talk about Damian Lillard, kind of where he's at, and then we will also discuss some smaller news, including the new G League coach, which let's go ahead and jump in right now at the start of this video. The Blazers have finally named their G League coach. It'll be Jim Moran. Now, you probably recognize that name, and you should recognize that name as he was a former assistant coach for the Blazers from 2015 to 2021 under Terry Stotts. He was obviously let go along with a majority of the staff when Terry Stotts got fired, ended up going to Detroit, being an assistant coach there. But it is good to have him back in the Blazers organization. He's one of those... Uh, He's one of those guys that you just like having in the organization, similar to Nate Tibbetts, similar to David Vanterpool. He's a guy that Dame likes. I think he's going to be really good for the young guys. I think he's going to be really good to help jumpstart this G League program. Obviously, we're starting play this upcoming season. Still no name. Still not a lot of news. The roster did come out recently. There were some names that I recognized on that. Justin Jackson to be one of them. Amir Sims from Clemson. Just a couple guys that I recognized on that roster. The name has still not come out. I have no no guesses, no assumptions on what it could be, but I'm looking forward to the G League. I think it's a really good thing that the Blazers are doing, and I think Jim Moran is a good good coach to jumpstart this team, get this program up and running, get these guys a good man uh, at the top of the helm. So that's the news with the G League. Not a lot to talk about. If you want to go read more, there's probably articles across uh, Blazers media and across Oregon media specifically um, if you want to learn more about that. The most important thing in this video probably is what was said on the Brian One Horse podcast, and here is what it was. He said, Portland is trying some pretty aggressive moves from what I've been able to glean. I have no idea how accurate everything is, but they are swinging. One other thing he says in regards of if they were to trade Damian Lillard, he said, they can get a, they can get a haul for Dam, whatever it is, and they'd have two lottery picks to rebuild around, but that is not the direction they're going at all. That is not the intel I'm receiving at all. Two big quotes from a guy that I would say is pretty plugged into NBA circles, to the front offices, just to everything going on. It seems like Portland is swinging and they're swinging for a home run, and that's just exactly what I want to hear. I'm, of course, on the side of let's trade this pick. Let's get a star player. Let's get an all-star caliber player right now. And from that quote, that seems that that's tracking and that's what the Blazers are going to try to do, which makes sense. I think they're going to continue to try to do this. And if they do take the pick, it's not because they didn't try to trade it. So I think that's a pretty important thing. Um, we haven't seen a ton from the national media regarding around Portland. It's more so been what the second one is, if the Blazers are going to trade Dame, which by the way, I want to give a shout out to JJ Redick from what he said on first take i can go ahead and read the quote because i think it's amazing he said we should applaud dame for wanting to win his way whether it's realistic or not at this point i think we should be applauding how he's approached his career and his loyalty to portland the city and that franchise and that was said on first take which is not something you hear on first take ever it's normally Stephen a smith just whining about how he wants dame in nyc or he wants dame to miami or dame to brooklyn or dame to boston all that stuff so i want to give it a shout out to jj reddick because Again, he's one of the only guys that really gets it. He is the only guy that really understands it. He had Dame on his uh, podcast, the point in the three, the old man in the three. And that was one of the best podcasts of the year, in my opinion, that I listened to. So shout out to JJ Redick in that. But, of course, back to the trade talk. It's, it's the same thing we've been saying for the last two weeks. It really hasn't changed. There's not going to be a lot to talk about until draft night. A lot, Not a lot different unless another team like the Pelicans comes out saying they're interested in a top three pick. Because the Blazers are going to try to trade this pick, and I think they will trade the pick. It's going to come on draft night probably because we need to see who's going to, if it's going to be Scoot or Brandon Miller, which we'll talk about next. But Brian Windhorst saying that, saying that they are swinging. I like that word. They're swinging. They're going for a home run, and that's exactly what the Blazers need to do. On the other hand, let's talk about this Brandon Miller workout that just happened. This will be the last thing we'll touch in this video. Brandon Miller worked out for the Blazers yesterday, and I haven't heard a lot of intel from it. Haven't seen a lot of news come out of it. Saw a lot more stuff come out of the Scoot Henderson uh, draft workout, which makes more sense. I would say Scoot's a little more of a bigger name. 
But obviously, reports this whole time have been saying that Charlotte's interested in Brandon Miller and Scoot's probably going to fall to three. We're starting to see the tides turn in that, which is a little disappointing because I do think Scoot Henderson has more trade value. But I still think it's a pretty flip of a coin on who's going two and three. If you want to get in on that, go use my bookie. Link's in the description. You know the drill. Code Rip City. so go check that out. You can bet on who's going two, who's going three. You can even bet if Wimby's going to go one, although the payout will be minuscule. But I do think if I had to make a decision right now, I think Brandon Miller would still go two. This whole thing with MJ selling the Hornets is kind of fogging my thoughts right now because I'm not sure how he would want to approach it. Um, but I do think Scoot is it's, his chances are rising, and by the time the draft comes, it could be Scoot, 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 which I think would hurt the Blazers' trade value just a little bit. But we always talk how there's a bunch of teams that won Scoot and how this is a three-player draft. There's probably a bunch of teams out there, out there that won Brandon Miller as well. Now his draft video, they obviously drop a little highlight video from his draft workout. Uh, definitely didn't look that great it looked a little underwhelming it wasn't as explosive as scoot however you can't judge a, the whole player by just a one minute draft video obviously you go watch the tape you go watch the film of college and in the g league and then you make your assumptions there i think brandon miller could still be a solid player in the nba i don't think he has the necessary star power the ceiling of scoot that's just my opinion i saw brandon miller struggle in the ncaa tournament but he still has the insane shooting ability. He probably fits this team pretty well. If they do, in fact, take Brandon Miller, I do think he could slot in on this team well. Do I think it makes it a championship team? No. But I do think that we would get better if we got Brandon Miller on this team. I still would be very interested in Amin Thompson as well. I'm not sure which way I would probably want to go. But I've just never been a huge fan of Brandon Miller in college. You know, he wasn't really a high... He wasn't a high recruit coming as high as some people coming into college. He was still a high recruit, but he obviously burst on the scene in college, but it is just one year and sometimes the one and done scare me. Now, Shane Sharp didn't even play a year and he's playing well, so I don't think that's a huge deal. But obviously, if we are going to draft someone, I probably would want Scoot still um, because if we do draft someone, I've come to the realization that that probably means Dame is gone. I really don't see us drafting someone and keeping Dame. So if we're going to draft someone, just get the best player if you can and get Scoot. But that doesn't mean that the Blazers aren't going to trade this pick still. If Brandon Miller falls the three, the haul might not be as great, but it still should be interesting. Obviously, the Zion rumors, the Brandon Ingram rumors are heating up because now the Hornets might want to take Scoot. That would mean the Pelicans want to trade with the Hornets because they're looking for Scoot. Could we see Zion in Charlotte? I would love to see Zion in Portland. It would be risky, but I think that has top five potential, and you got to take a swing. The Blazers are swinging. So, again, this video probably did nothing for you guys in terms of news, in terms of learning more, but that's kind of what we're at right now. We're, we're not going to learn really anything else. It's just going to be a bunch of the same things said over and over. It's just going to be the Blazers want to trade the pick. The Hornets are torn between Scoot and Brandon Miller. Wimby's going one. Everything we already knew before. So at the end of the day, you're just going to have to wait until draft night and see then. We're going to have a podcast coming out on Tuesday, or excuse me, coming out on Wednesday, the day before the draft, doing our full draft preview. Cody will be back. So be on the lookout for that. And then we will be doing a draft stream Thursday. So again, be on the lookout for that during the draft. That'll be insane. That'll be interesting. So make sure to tune in for that. That's all I got for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe and comment what you uh, think about the third pick, what you think about Brandon Miller, what you think about Jim Moran, the G League coach, and uh, I'll be reading those. So see you guys in the next video. Peace.